Hello, my name is David Millard and I am a toxicologist in ATSDR, the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry in Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome to Module 7, Health Effects Evaluation. This module is the seventh in an eight module series about ATSDR's method known as the PHA. In prior modules, you learned about ATSDR and the PHA process. You also learned how to identify exposure pathways, select appropriate data, and screen the sampling data to determine contaminants that require further evaluation. Module 7 will teach you how to perform a health effects evaluation for those contaminants and exposure pathways identified as contaminants of concern during the screening process. Throughout the health effects evaluation, you might ask yourself questions like, what process do I follow to determine if exposures to site-related contaminants could be harmful? What tools and guidelines do I use to perform the health effects evaluation? And what factors do I need to consider to further evaluate the contaminants found at levels that could potentially cause health effects? Module 7 will help you answer these questions. It has detailed information to teach you how to conduct a health effects evaluation. First, you will learn about the purpose of the health effects evaluation and key terms. Then you will learn the steps of the health effects evaluation, including how to identify exposure units, calculate exposure point concentrations, and estimate doses, hazard quotients, and cancer risk. You will also learn about the process to conduct toxicological evaluations for those contaminants that exceed health guidelines. Finally, you will apply the concepts you learned to conduct a health effects evaluation for the case study site called the Gala Lumber Company. In this module, you will also find useful tools and resources that you can use for future PHA work. Ready? Let's start Module 7.